On page 154, we're looking at what a creditor's allowances journal looks like. Now, guys, anything can happen when you trade with a company. Let's say it's us and Simba. They come and drop the chips off by us. We ordered a thousand packets of salt and vinegar. They only delivered 200. We tell them, listen. Um, oh, no, no. They just sent more. Um, no, that example won't work. Which example shall we use? Oh, okay. Let's say they deliver the Simba chips. 200 of the vinegar, salt and vinegar packets have somehow burst open because of heat and swollen. So by the, the packets swollen, burst open, when they come and deliver, 200 packets are open. So if I'm sorry, we're not paying for this, we're sending it back. Now remember, no cash has been transferred between us as yet. No cash. So they, they don't have to pay me back. All we do is we decrease our account. And that's what we do in a creditors allowances journal. Quite often, if two companies trade lots of times, monthly, daily, whatever, the one company will tell the other one, because you are a loyal customer, we'll give you a trade discount. And then sometimes they forgot to put the trade discount through. So what do I tell them? They listen, you forgot about my discount, please. And then via the creditors allowances journal, we notify them of that discount and they send me a reply and say, fine, and I know that I pay them 10% less than I was supposed to pay them. Now, a creditor is a liability. Liabilities normally increase on the credit side. Now, I'm going to ask them, decrease what I owe you. So then you normally debit a liability. And that's why the document that we use in a creditor's allowances journal is a debit note. That's the document. A debit note. We write out the debit note, so we use our own numbering system. There's no problem there. Okay, so the document when it comes to creditors' allowances is a debit note. You can read through what they write there on page 155 um, at the top. I want to go and have a look at the format of a creditors' allowances journal. And it looks exactly the same as a creditors' journal. This will just be a creditors allowances journal. Now I want to do one with you that you can get an idea on how it's done. We're going to do Flint 29 together. Okay, so pencils, pens out, let's do Flint 29 together. It is a creditors allowances journal of top shape stores for the month of June. Let's see, remember, it's not to say all the transactions they give us have to go in there. You've got to go and read. First transaction, merchandise to the value of 180 Rand and incorrect stationery worth 40 Rand was returned to Mkisi suppliers as it was not according to sample. Debit note 001 was issued. Your keynote, debit, your keyword, debit note. So my debit note is 001. This happens on the second and I'm returning it to Mkisi. Who are they? Mkisi suppliers. Okay, and the details of company I'm returning it to. It's 180 rands worth of incorrect stationery that we bought, but only 40 rands worth was returned to them. So in your creditors control column, 40 rand. This is stationary, I'm returning. So it goes into my stationary column to indicate that's what I've returned. My next transaction on the 15th, goods that were incorrectly supplied to top shape stores together with a debit note for 260 was returned by top shop stores. Okay, so we are returning goods. Um... No, sorry, um, yeah, the goods were incorrectly supplied to us. So we send a debit note. Our next debit note is 002. This transaction happens on the 15th. 
We're sending it to top shape. No? Top shot stores. Top shot stores, the people we're sending it back to. It was for 260 Rand and it was good. That's the same as trading stock. On the 21st, Top Gear advertisers overcharged us on our last purchase of Letrex by 202. So they made a mistake on the invoice. So now we tell them, listen, we owe you less. So we send this to Top Gear advertisers. It's debit note 003. It happens on the 21st. This is lettering, so you can see that as stationary. The amount they overcharged us by 202 Rand. And it goes into your stationary column. And all you have to do is total them. Two hundred and sixty, two hundred and forty two. So the total is five hundred and two. Right, guys, any questions? You've got to read through the transaction, look for your keywords. See if I'm issuing invoice, if I'm receiving an invoice. Is this a debit or a credit note I'm busy with? Place it in context. Okay, I'm going to give you a five-minute break, and then we're going to carry on with the cash payments job.